Do you ever listen to your favorite artists mixes and just think, damn, where do I even start? How do I make my mix sound like that? Well, by the end of this video, I'll explain exactly how they do it and what you can do to start making your next mix sound exactly the way you want. Hey there, my name is Joey Sturgis and I'm here to teach you about audio production and help you unleash your creativity in the studio. Now, if you're anything like me, you totally love creating music and manipulating audio. So if that's you, you're in the right place because we're gonna build up our audio knowledge together and have the sickest sounding recordings on planet Earth. Let's jump into it. The first step to getting a mix that sounds like your favorite artists starts with your song. Your song's gotta be awesome. The better your song is, the easier it is to work with and thus the easier it'll be to mix. This is important because if your song isn't that great, let's say there's clashing harmonies or chords, then even the best mix in the world is not going to save it. You really gotta make sure that everything works together in the song first. Fortunately, fortunately, this can be very easy, especially if you've already got something written. Just go through the song instrument by instrument and make sure that it works well. Anything that's a little off or clashing, just remove it or tweak it. The second thing to look at is how easy is your song to hum? I know we're talking about mixing here, but this is a very important component to any music production. If the song is complex and most people can't hum or sing along to it, this puts a barrier between you and your listeners. The funny thing is, uh, simple melodies are easier to mix and they make way for having better sounding mixes. If you've got hundreds of notes in your song or in a short passage, it can be harder to mix because there's more unique frequency content that's happening. Conversely, if your song is too simple, the mix can easily sound boring too. It's really a delicate balance of interesting versus simple here that you'll need. The next thing I would look at is your low end, especially what's creating it and how good does it sound on its own. Low end is one of the most important parts of any mix. You've really got to work hard to get this part right. It's important because when your low end is messed up, your song and your mix will sound messed up too. If you're using a synth bass, make sure it's well balanced. If you're using an electric bass track, make sure that it's in tune and well edited, get the low end right and the rest is like cake. Finally, the thing that can get you closer to having a pro mix like you hear from your favorite artists is actually nothing to do with the mix, but it has to do with the master. Mastering is the final step that a song goes through before it is published, and it's really one of the most important steps. Mastering is important because it really determines how your song sounds on other systems and listening environments, and it sets the final dynamic and tonal balance of your mix. Typically, I recommend getting a professional mastering engineer here because they really, really know what they're doing, and it's gonna get you the best results. But if you can't afford a professional mastering engineer, there are some great plugins out there, like my bus glue mix, which can get you part of the way there. Anyway, this is what I think, but there is something that is always more interesting, and that is what you think, so let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe, and follow to see more. Do you want to learn more about my audio production process? We well, are in luck because I've teamed up with Creative Live to give you my exact methods for audio production step-by-step -step and what we call the Studio Pass. This class is packed with everything you need to craft audio productions just like mine. Click the link on this video to enroll now. I will be compensated when you make a purchase. I'm also going to make a special offer. If you purchase the class, send me your receipt to support at joeysturgistones.com and you'll get a free JST plugin up to $49 in value. How awesome is that? Click the link on this video and grab my Studio Pass class with Creative Live. But stay tuned because tomorrow I'm going to tell you the ultimate drum editing technique for brand new audio enthusiasts. That's it for this video. See you tomorrow and happy mixing.